Okay, so we're getting a button check here, but we are good to go whenever you guys are ready. Uh, not right now, obviously, because Wayne's down a stock for unfair reasons. Showing off his movement in midair with the oil barrel, oil bucket, oil panic, I believe is the official name. Uh, we have swearing on stream already. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Turn it up to 11. Oh, it's okay. I swear all the time when I'm not on bracket acting like people can't hear me. And then I go back and rewatch it. I'm like, wow, I'm really loud. Anyway. All right. So we got uh, first match of the night here on stream anyway. Uh, Max, our new one of our new additions to the Purdue scene. He is a Ryu player. Uh, I really like some of his some of the skills I've seen so far. I don't believe he attended last week, either that or I'm nuts. I didn't see him, but uh, I really look forward to watching this Ryu play some more. As I understand it, uh, this matchup's probably kind of okay uh, for Game and Watch, except for like, ooh, wow, nice nice use of the focus stack there. But uh, Game and Watch has a couple of aerials that are multi-hit, uh, and the fact that he can mix that up from different regions of around Ryu makes it so that focus attack isn't as uh, like omnipresent of a threat as it usually could be. Uh, that's not to say that focus attack is like, you know, null and void, it can't be used anymore. It still offers plenty of movement options for Ryu, and a classic up tilt true Shoryu is going to take the first stock. And Wayne's just trying to find a way in. He's getting a lot off those down throws, except for that. As soon as I say that, no conversion off the down throw, but you know. Uh, I think I think a lot of the trouble with the Ryu matchup, just for any character. Oh, nice up B to escape that 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 chain of I believe Nairs. I, I I'm not good with Ryu. I don't actually play this character enough to know his moves. That's beside the point. Uh, oh, gets the balloon for extra coverage. Good on him. Good on him. Uh, I'm sure that that's a lot of moral support when you get that balloon. Uh, but, but anyway, what I was saying about Ryu, I feel like with any character, the matchup is a, is heavily contingent on just a lot of shielding from the non Ryu player. Like you just, the, the scary thing though is he's got that collarbone breaker or whatever it's called that pretty much instantly destroys your shield if you have even the slightest bit of damage. So you can and you can usually cover the amount of shield needed by, from one of Ryu's very nice up tilts. Uh, seven could have got some health back there. I think a whopping two HP. And he's now just looking for a way to get this kill. He can't seem to... I guess now that I think about it, his even his up air is multi-hit if he gets the two hits of the two toot. So that can help him get out of the way. Of, uh, up smash will take it. The the <laughs> the uh, One of the best up smashes in the game on a fundamental level, uh, Game Watches, because it's pretty much invincible. Very hard to challenge unless you're grabbing. Good good awareness by Max there. Another down smash. Uh, game & Watch is not looking good here right now. It's another... <laughs> just keeps going for those down smashes. They got him a lot of mileage, those first two. Uh, the only really scary thing about Game & Watch at this point, when he's this far down, is uh, RNG. Uh, the 9 hammer, you know, obviously it comes in and ruins a lot of people's dreams. And the back air is going to take it. Game & Watch being very light, kind of a problematic thing that most Game & Watch players got to deal with. <laughs> Uh, especially in this matchup, because Ryu hits like a freight train, and it's honestly really annoying. All right, so we got God of Grunts doing some emotional support back there. I think he just put a kick me sign on uh, Wayne. I'm not really sure. Oh, it's a cape? All right, I'm pretty sure it's just a tissue. Or Get me a cape? Okay, I, I thought it was a kick me sign for a couple minutes, but I wasn't quite sure. All right, we're running it to Battlefield. Uh... Uh, I think the only reason this would be good is that... Is that a Ganondorf switch? Oh, right. I believe Wayne was the winner of uh, the uh, Ganon-only tournament for... Oh, no? Okay. Benson. Right, it was Benson. Okay. I, I need to stay more up to date. But uh, he was the one who instigated uh, that a Game & Watch... Or a Game & Watch... <laughs> yeah, he probably would be the one to instigate a Game & Watch only tourney, too. But uh, he, he it instigated a Ganondorf only tourney, uh, which uh, ended with Benson winning. So, you know, there's that. But aside from that, um, it's obvious that Wayne likes his character. Going for Ganon sides already. Classic Ganondorf strategy. Uh, he really... Uh, Ganondorf is just unfortunate that this character never really got to see the light of day in Smash. I mean, yeah, he's alright in Melee. But outside of that, this character just... After Brawl, or once Brawl began, this character just kind of fell off the face of the earth. He's more for the memes at this point. And, uh, wow, just a lot of these true Shoryu's coming out from Max right now. Yeah, he's, he is one of the least used. Like, you're starting to see more play from Yoshi these days. And a Ganon side is going to even up the game. Oh, jeez. All right. <laughs> Hit him with the typical Smash 4, and we're moving on to the potential. This could be the final stock of Wayne's winner run. Let's 
see if he can get you know another Ganon side could do it <laughs> just a raw warlock punch in neutral classic uh, Max just kind of keep playing the keep away game with these Hadoukens or whatever the uh, whatever he says when the Hadouken turns red I should probably play Street Fighter one of these days uh, gotta be honest don't really like it though sue me um, but I like Smash 4 go figure then again they're probably equally balanced in some way shape or form Anyway, uh, we have Wayne with the percent lead, and he just eats that forward smash like it's Thanksgiving dinner. Oh, just going. This, this is the this is the scary thing about Ganondorf. He doesn't have combos, but he doesn't really need them because like three or four raw hits basically puts you at the percent that you need to be in kill range with Ganondorf. Because he, he he also hits like a truck, but he doesn't have the movement that Ryu has, which just you know makes him bad comparatively. <laughs> Up air to get him as a get off me tool. Wayne in a tough spot. Ganon off stage. Not going to be accidentally fast falls too quickly, and that is going to be the set. Uh, don't like to see it end like that, but you know, good stuff to Max. Definitely had it. Uh, I don't think the game would have been quite as close without that Ganon side, but you know, uh, uh, Max saying his uh, his heart's pounding. 